What it look like, what it be like, what it do, YouTube. This is Chef Boy RV coming at you this Sunday afternoon to bring you guys along for my Sunday meal prep. The meal prep for the day is I'm going to make curry chicken in my slow cooker. So without further ado, let's get it started. What you'll need for this dish is a pound and a half of uh, boneless chicken thighs that's been skinned. I've uh, since cut them up in cubes and um, I've rinsed them, cleaned them off. You also will need um, one medium yellow onion, which I've also taken a liberty of dicing. You also need one pound of yellow potatoes, which averages, right, averages out to be about three or four, which I've actually uh, washed and I cut them up in cubes. I've kept the skin on them. Uh, you also need, um, what, 13.5 ounces of coconut milk, my favorite. You need two, oh, excuse me, two tablespoons of brown sugar, two teaspoons of minced garlic, one tablespoon of fresh, oh, excuse me, fresh um, ginger, ground ginger. I minced it myself. You'll need um, one teaspoon of uh, ground turmeric. You need one, let me get it together. You need one teaspoon of um, curry powder. You'll need, let me see, you'll need, um, let's get that together here, a half a teaspoon of coriander seed, or ground coriander seed. You'll need, let's see, uh, one teaspoon of uh, salt, kosher salt. And you will also need a half a teaspoon of uh, crushed red pepper. Okay, the first thing you would want to do in this dish, you would want to, in your slow cooker, it could be a four to six ounce um, cooker. You want to put your onions, drop your onions, your potatoes, and your chicken. Let me see, since I've since washed them, I don't want to just dump them all in there. Rinse them in salt water and, just, and rub them together and let it sit for a bit. And um, some of the fat that I didn't cut off, basically separate it. So that's what I'm gonna dump the whole thing in there, just pull them out. Okay, the next step of this ingredient, you have to mix, make sure you have a little whisk in a bowl. You're gonna mix your seasonings. You're gonna mix your milk, your salts, and your seasoning in a bowl real good so I'm going to dump my coconut milk in the bowl and I will start with my coriander that's a half a teaspoon oops Half a teaspoon of coriander, put that aside. Half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Set that aside. We want to add a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. Set that aside. Teaspoon of curry powder. Mm 
And then again with your two tablespoons of brown sugar. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. And your tablespoon of ginger. And we want to whisk. We're going to mix it up real good. Okay, when you get it nice and blended, you want to take your crock pot that consists of the chicken, onions, and potatoes, and then you're going to coat them with your mixture okay. and once you have that I'm real anal so I'll just clean the edges that's just me being anal I'll put the top on and cook that on low for four hours. Now, if you guys want to make it a little bit quicker, you can set it on high for four. But there's no rush for me today. So, it's Sunday. Plug it in. And let's get it going. And in four hours, I'll be back. All right, guys. It has been over four hours. And my curry, a crock pot curry chicken, is now done. And I'm going to plate it and show you guys the end result. Okay, guys. I've plated my crock pot curry chicken. This is the end results. And, of course, I uh, topped it on my uh, coconut rice. I hope you guys enjoy this brief tutorial on uh, how to go about to make the uh, crock pot curry chicken. It is a delicious meal and I highly suggest you guys try it. So until next time guys, deuces.